so here we are at our hotel in Kos. If you see those hills over there, they're actually in Turkey. On our way down from our hotel room right now, about to start our run for the day. It has been 37 degrees here today, which is pretty hot. Here's the pool in front of us, you can see. And there is the sun pretty much setting already now on the horizon. But we're hoping, we're hoping to get down to the beach to uh, get a view of it setting over the water. Enjoying the evening breeze. Okay, starting the run here. And here we go. So this is the hotel that we've been staying at, Hotel Argus, which was super cheap. I think it was about 24 euros a night or something. Uh, and it's quite well located as well. As you will see in just a moment, we are just uh, a 30 second run to the beach, essentially. So you'll see that any second now on the way there, just coming past a local supermarket here that we've been going to for the past couple of days. Absolutely glorious. It makes such a difference without the sun, isn't it? What do you mean? I mean, it currently is showing 33 degrees, but it doesn't feel that at all with a with a breeze along the coast. So I actually think running at 33 degrees is fine, as long as you've not got the intense sun on top of you, it's actually not too bad. But obviously this isn't going to be our longest run, not by a long way, because it is still warm. We've had a very long day, we've been out doing some sea kayaking today, we could throw in some clips of that for you to see. Such a nice route along the coast. It's very flat as well. And you'll notice, and you'll notice bikes are a really common way for people to get around here. It's super convenient, super flat. Dedicated cycle lanes that are separate from the road, which is always super useful for helping people get on a bike. Feeling good? Yeah. Very good. Embrace the sea. So our river sea there, that's Turkey. It's actually only five kilometers away. Very close by. Obviously, completely different country. Here we are with the sun just setting right now over Kos Town. Let's go and check it out. big ferry there, either coming in or going out, not entirely sure. I don't know if you can really hear this on my GoPro, but lots of birds making noise right now. Okay, so here we are at the tree of Hippocrates in Kos. So this is allegedly the descendant of the tree that was around two and a half thousand years ago when Hippocrates was here studying medicine, teaching medicine. This tree that you see here is only about 500 years old, apparently, but is allegedly a descendant of that original tree under which Hippocrates taught. So, dating from the 4th to the 6th century AD, here is the old Agora in Kos. It's currently closed because it closes at 7pm, but you can come and walk through it free of charge if you're around in Kos at any point. So, let's continue our run. Obviously, Kos is known as being a bit of a party town where British tourists come on holiday. Seems like the drinking hasn't started yet, but it will soon. Q 
Here we are at the Aletheria Central Square in Coast Town, a very popular place for people to come around in Sunday night. <laughs> We're at the harbour in Coast Town. This is a place where you can jump on one of these boats, go on a little trip somewhere, somewhere nice. We went on one a couple of days ago, a three island tour. The sun is well and truly set now behind us over Cost Town, so that means it's time for us to start running back in the direction of our hotel. So here are the walls of the old castle in Cost. We had a look through that. Again, it's something that's free to go inside, free to look at. So if you're around in Cost, check out the castle. Completely free. I look very stupid now. Still with my sunglasses on, uh, but it's a prescription pair of glasses. So without that, I can't see anything. Oh wow! So beautiful. This sunset is amazing. I can't get enough of it. I really just want to stay here forever now. The hills of course that way, over the bay, Turkey. And now our hotel is in that direction, so that's where we're going to be running. And run, resume. Running now back along the other side of the castle. Spending all this time on the Greek islands has made me realise just how much I wish I owned a yacht. But Will says we can't have one, so until Will green lights that, there'll be no sailing around the world videos from us, unfortunately. Will's taking a break. Okay, and we are back at the hotel. Time to end these workouts. So that was about six and a half K. We just got back to the hotel. End of a workout here. Obviously super hot evening, super hot day. 37 at the peak today when we started running it had gone down to 33. I don't know what it is now. Will, do you know? Uh, 32, still 32. Still 32 degrees. So time to go cool down, turn on the AC and get some rest. <laughs> 